So the bacteria has this cell wall, which is made of small circular-like plates. These plates are expelled into the outside of the bacteria, and then they use a penicillin binding protein on the outside. They use this protein to link together to form the whole bacterial cell wall. So the bacterial cell wall is, more, is made as small fragments, and they're linked together using penicillin binding protein. Now penicillin, the antibiotic, binds into this penicillin binding protein and prevents the linking of the bacterial cell wall. So the bacterial cell wall is still synthesized, but it's not linked together. So the bacteria will not have a cell wall. To prevent the synthesis of the cell wall altogether, we have another, another class that is called cephalosporins. The antibiotic itself is a sugary component. It's called beta-lactam. So once the beta-lactam penicillin reaches the bacteria, it will do its job by, by binding to the penicillin binding protein. But the bacteria can fight back by producing an anti-beta-lactam enzyme called beta-lactamase. This enzyme will be produced into the outside and it will break penicillin once it gets close to the bacteria. So the bacteria fights back by producing beta-lactamase. And we can fight back the fighting back by giving a patient another medication called beta-lactamase inhibitor. So we give the patient penicillin, and once penicillin reaches the bacteria, the, the bacteria can break penicillin by beta-lactamase, but we can also break the enzyme by beta-lactamase inhibitors. Penicillin is a very generic antibiotic. So I think of mild infections that you see every day. Uh, matter of fact, it's actually most of the time the first guideline that you go to. So think of UTIs, pneumonia, abdominal infections. Sometimes it can be used to treat kind of a severe infections like Clostridium infections, Clostridium botulinum. Uh, it can also be used to treat Neisseria infections and syphilis, but most of the time, staph and strep infections. The enzyme that the bacteria produces to fight back, the beta-lactamase enzyme, can break down penicillin. So we call this enzyme penicillinase. Sometimes it's called penicillinase, other times it's called lactamase, it's the same thing. So we can subdivide penicillin medications into two groups, either penicillinase-sensitive penicillins or penicillinase-resistant penicillins. The penicillinase-sensitive penicillins will be broken down by penicillinase. So the patient has to take penicillinase inhibitors with it, like clovenic acid. Now the penicillinase-resistant penicillins have a bulky R group in the molecular structure of the penicillin itself. This will make the drug more resistant to penicillinase. So penicillin, very generic antibiotic. It works by inhibiting the penicillin binding protein, which inhibits the cross-linking of the cell wall, not the synthesis. It's very generic, so I think of generic infections, abdominal infections, UTI, mild pneumonia, etc. Staph and strep, very important. Uh, the resistance develops by producing the penicillinase by the bacteria. We can fight back by giving penicillinase inhibitors. 